Hello all, um, this is just a quick video tutorial. A lot of you are asking me how to put um, video on your iPod, um, especially if you've got PCs, which most of you have, or Windows, you're gonna find it difficult. Um, well, it's straightforward enough, um, and I'll just go through a few things that you've got to do beforehand. Um, the first thing you wanna do is open up uh, Firefox, uh, and when we go into Google, the first thing we wanna type in is Handbrake. Uh, for PC and when we get handbrake the first link handbrake.fr is the one we want we click that and this is a program that's going to convert it into something that your iPod can recognize or your iTunes can recognize so we hit our download link and then in handbrake it gives you a couple of different options depending on your computer uh, we want to scroll down to Windows 2000 XP Vista and we're looking for the GUI or guided user interface that's the one we want uh, we don't want the command line interface down below it because that's for uh, advanced uh, technical people. The top one will do nicely. Uh, once you click download, it pops up, gives you the option to save it. So what you do is go save the file, open it up, install it. You might have to do a restart. Uh, and then once it's all done, open it up and just make sure it's working. And then you can, you can close it down. Uh, it's important to close it down again. So I already have this installed, so I'm just going to cancel that one there. Okay, and then what you want to do is go back to Google and you want to type in DVD 4.3. And DVD 4.3 is a program that breaks the copy protection on the DVDs that you own. So you click DVD 4.3 uh, and that brings you into a site. Uh, you go to your download site, one file form or, or, uh, is a fairly decent site that you can get stuff from. So once it brings you in here, just go find uh, go find the download link, uh, DVD 4.3. If you scroll across to right, then there's your download now. Just make sure that it's DVD 4.3 that you're downloading is the actual link for it. And again, the same thing. Just download that, uh, open it up, install it. You will have to do a restart for DVD 4.3. Uh, do them separately, uh, and that's that's pretty much it. So that's that installed. When you install DVD 4.3. What you get, uh, it can see a little yellow face, and this is kind of the sad face to it. So that means there's no DVD inserted. Uh, once you insert a DVD, this little yellow face should turn into a green face. And that indicates that a DVD is in. And what happens is, is the program, when the DVD is inserted, the program is breaking the copyright protection on it so that it can actually be ripped and transferred onto your iPod. It starts off as a yellow face. It'll eventually go into a yellow face with horns and then it'll turn into a green face once it's recognized. So there you go. So the green face has popped up, which means that the program is working. If you get something like this, you know, you can just cancel that off. You don't need that. Uh, once that's done, that's all you need DVD 434. Um, there's, there's nothing else you need. Uh, the next step then is go and open up Handbrake. So we double click on Handbrake. Handbrake pops up. And this is it. I'm just going to drag it in here so you can see it. So this is the new version of Handbrake. And there's a few things that we've got to set up in here before your DVD is, is set. And again, once you get used to this, it'll, it'll be very, very quick. The first thing we've got to do is select the source. In other words, where is the actual DVD? So what we do is we click that and it should have found it. Now, the D there stands for your drive. Video TS is the folder where all the files are kept. Now there are other folders called Audio TS which you don't need, but in this particular case we're going to select Video TS and, and for the sake of this we're using Fight Club as the movie. So we can click that. You can see a little window popped up there about scanning it. Depending on the speed of your computer, it might take up to a minute. Here we've got the title. Now sometimes this can say automatic if there's a few files. In this case there's only one file here and the file is 2 hours 13 minutes and 22 seconds long. So obviously that's our movie file. Uh, sometimes you can drop this down and there might be 7 or 8 different files. Some of them could be 2 minutes long, 8 minutes long and they're just special features. So you want to go with the file that looks like it's the movie. So you know if it's an hour 40 minutes that's obviously the movie so you're going to select that. Um, once that's selected, that's fine. Uh, the next thing you want to do is select the destination file, and this is where you're going to save it. So what we do is we click Browse, uh, and that brings us up our Save As box, and then we're going to save this as Fight Club. Uh, we're going to save it on the desktop. It saves it as a type MP4, that's fine, so we'll just save it on the desktop. That's grand, and that's that pretty much set up. 
The next thing we've got to do is change the video. There are different types of videos that you can get. We don't need to bother with this format. M4V or MP4 are the two files that, uh, that iTunes can read. They can read those up, but we leave it at M4V. This video section here, what you need to do is change the video codec from H.264 to MPEG4 FF MPEG. The reason for this is H.264 is very, very slow and it also, you know, there's not much of the space saving. MPEG4 is a better quality at the moment, so we leave it at that. Now, your target size is the second thing you've got to fill in. Normally for a movie that's about an hour and a half, an hour and 40 minutes, you leave it at about 700 megabytes. But this movie is 2 hours 13, so I'm going to increase it a little bit because if I try to squash 2 hours 13 down into 700 megabytes, the, the picture quality mightn't be as good as I want it. So instead of 700 megabytes, I'm going to change it to 1000 megabytes, which is 1 gigabyte. Now it's up to you what target size you put it at. I wouldn't put it at any less than 700 megabytes. If you want a decent quality on it, you know, I go with that. It's one gigabyte file. You, you mightn't have the space on your machine to store that sort of stuff. Um, so it's up to yourself. Average bit rate, you don't need to worry about constant quality. You don't need to worry about either. So we go back to picture settings. Now what you can see on the right hand side of this is there's a couple of presets. Um, depending on the type of iPod you've got, that's the standard, the first one there is your standard uh, iPod, the old one with the smaller screens. All right, And you can see down here in the corner, we've got a width and a height of 480. Uh, if we click iPod, it changes to 320 because the iPod can only, can only carry 320 by, and I think the other thing is 240. Uh, if we're doing this for an iPod Touch, and we'll say that we are, we can click iPod Touch and you can say it stretches to 480. Uh, if we click Apple TV, if you have an Apple TV, it stretches to 960 because it's higher quality. But iPod and I've, iPod Touch and iPhone is, is uh, where you want to be. Uh, you can also, there's a little bit at the end here, you can click and set as default. Uh, so that will keep it. And it says your new default settings are saved. So we click OK to that. So that's fine. Uh, so we go back down here. And uh, just to double check before we hit the start button and uh, to make, it, make sure everything is okay. So our video, because we have set that as default because we pr pressed the preset button uh, the video has changed back so just make sure you change it back to FFmpeg uh, and then also your target size as in this case a thousand megabytes but normally 700 and um, we have our destination file we have our source set up we have our title selected and that's all you got to do you just got to hit start and that starts the encoding process what happens next is the window pops up we'll just drag it in here so you can see it Okay, and this is a, a little program that runs, and as you can see, it, it's encoding task one of one, uh, so that's your movie. It's 0 0.38, and it's rising percent, uh, 66 frames per second. It's averaging 47, none of that really matters, and your estimated time of arrival, ETA, you're looking at an hour, seven minutes to do that. Now, that will very much vary on the speed of your computer, how new your computer is, your processors, uh, all that sort of stuff. Um, but on average, for a standard hour and a half movie, it's going to take maybe 45 minutes. Now, that might increase in time. You'll have to check it out. But the best thing to do is leave it go for the hour, come back, and what will happen is you will end up with a file on your desktop. Um, so if I can move this over here, you'll be able to see it. So I'm just going to uh, leave that there, and I'm going to grab, grab this. I'm just going to drop it over here. So hopefully you'll be able to see Fight Club file there. So that Fight Club file is just sitting there, which then can be dropped into your uh, your iTunes. Uh, make sure that when you go into iTunes, when you've got your iPod connected, that you actually make sure you sync the movie. So under iPod, under Movies tab, make sure that you click the box beside the actual movie you want to sync to your iPod. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope that makes sense. Uh, if you have any problems, well then you can come to me in school and you can ask, uh, ask how to do things or if there's any more videos you want, let me know. Okay, all the best. Good luck.